Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how to change a SharePoint Online site address using PowerShell. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, uh, so before we proceed for changing a site address in SharePoint Online, let me tell you a few things. Like as a global admin or SharePoint admin in your organization, you can change the site address of your site. And there are few following types of SharePoint sites. And the type of sites for which you can change the URL is the Microsoft 365 Group Connected Team Sites. Then we have a modern team site that don't belong to a Microsoft 365 group. Then we have a communication site and at last we have a classic team site. And changing a site address is not available for Microsoft 365 comment GCC high customers. It is only available for these following sites. Now, now let me tell you for like how you can change the address of your site with an example. Like you have a site which is https colon forward slash forward slash captech is my domain and sharepoint.com and then we have a sites forward slash test so you can change the test to the final so you can't change this sites to teams or teams to site and it takes somewhere around 10 minutes to change the site address uh, it's totally depends on the size of the site and the time when this changes will be applied like the site address will be changing at that point of time the, the site will be on read only mode when the changes will be applying microsoft recommend you can change the site address when there are when the site usage is low and you can change the address up to 100 site at a time and to change an additional site address you have to wait for another change to finish in the past if you have enabled the publishing feature and or it is current if it is currently activated then the changing the site address is unsupported so friends, now before you change uh, the address of a site, uh, it's in very important to communicate the change uh, to the site user. Because in your organization, if you have like lot many people and those people are using the site, so it's recommended communicate these changes to the users as well. And because this will help you to reduce uh, the confusion and the calls for your help decks or the concerned person. You can uh, let your all the users know the following information like when the change will happen, what the new URL will be for that site and users should also close their files and not make edits during the address change. Users uh, should check the site recycle bin to make sure it contains no file they want to keep. And the last, the file permission and the sharing won't changes. So like whatever will be the new URL. So in the initial one, if uh, like there are some permission which are set by your SharePoint admin, so those permission will be same as when you will change the site URL. Now friends, let's discuss what are the effects of changing a site address. So uh, while the changes is in progress, as I've already told, told you that the site is set to read only and a redirect will be created. After the change is complete, uh, users are redirected to the new URL. So if they have like saved the site as a favorite, after the change is complete, they will redirect to the new URL. So now let's discuss one by one what are the effects of changing a site address. Like for the apps, if apps in your organization refer to the site URL, you uh, might need to republish the apps when you change the site address. So this is the effect of changing a site address. Then the second effect is info path forms. So info path forms uh, that refer to the URLs might not work after the site address is changed. Then the third we have list view web part so if a list view web part is uh, added to the page and the scope to a specific folder in that li and list that web part display an error after the site url is changed uh, if you want to fix that issue uh, you either need to edit the web part or reset the folder path or remove the web part from the page and then add it again then we have a custom forms created in power app so you need to recreate the custom form after the site address is changed then we have the effect of permissions when we change the site address so people who have the permission to access the site can access the site during and after the site address is changed then we have a microsoft forms so if a site is a microsoft 365 group connected and has a forms in microsoft forms any file uploaded like questions in form will break 
so to if you want to fix that issue you have to recreate the file and upload questions and allow responders to upload the file again then we have the recycle bin so the files in the recycle bin will be restorable as per the usual deletion time frame so guys these were few effects of changing a site address for more details you can visit to microsoft documentation and you can read about the more effect so friends now let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can change a site address okay so now we are on our sharepoint admin center i will click on active sites and here i will go down i have one site with the name of test and the url of this site is let me tell you so this is the url of the site which is captech.sharepoint.com forward slash sites and then test so this is the URL. If you want to check the URL, you can click on this test and you can see this is our URL for this site. You can change the URL from here, but I will recommend you to use the PowerShell for changing the URL. Changing the URL is different and changing the site name is the different thing. So in this video, we'll see how we can change the URL of this site. Let me close this. You can see this is the URL and the primary admin is my account and this is a team site and with a classic experience so now i will change the site url using the powershell so if you want to change the url you should be a global admin or a sharepoint admin let me open the powershell i will right click on it and i will click on run as administrator let me expand this and let me zoom in for you all okay so friends now before we change the site address before that we'll do the validation we'll verify that the site address can be changed or not I will type my first command to connect to our SPO site, connect-spo service. Now I will type the URL of my site. So this is the URL of my site. I will copy this. I will paste it over here. I will press enter. Now I have to provide the credentials of my global account or you can provide the credential of SharePoint admin. Okay now let me provide the password okay so now we are connected to our sharepoint admin center so now we'll type a command to check whether it is possible to change the site address for this site or not so i will type my command start dash spo site rename then identity then we'll enter the site url for which we want to change so this is my url after copying the url i will i will paste the site url over here then we'll type new site url will be i will give the name final so my new site url will be captech pro sites final instead of test and i will give the space dash and type validation only okay now i will press enter to check whether it is possible to change the site address or not So you can see the current site URL is this and the new site URL will be this. This is the rename ID and it is triggered by my global account and the validation state is success. Okay, so the, which means we can change our site URL to this. So now to change the site URL, we will remove this validation only. And now we'll press enter. So it will say like confirm are you sure you want to perform this action and this operation will change the url of the site from this to the final do you want to continue i will press a yes to all and i will press enter okay so you can see the current site url is this new site url this and again it is triggered by me that now as of now the state is not started okay so let's check whether our site url name is changed or not okay i will close this I will refresh my page I will go down and you can see my test site and the URL is changed to final if I will open this site you will see now the site URL is changed for my site test and if I will type test over here I will remove final and let me type the initial name test and I, if I will press enter you can see it is creating a redirection to final so friends, by this way, we can change the site URL of a SharePoint site. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.